Hi, my name is Clay Cruz with Dixie RV in Hammond, Louisiana. Today we're going to take a few minutes and talk about this beautiful 2021 Allegro Bus 45 OPP. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about this beautiful 2021 Cinderwood Allegro Bus 45 OPP. The Allegro Bus is one of Tiffin's crown jewels and one of the reasons why we love selling Tiffin. And remember, I'm going to point out through the video today, attention to detail. Attention to detail is the reason that Tiffin is number one and the reason why customers love them so much. It's little things like this touch pad here that allows you to unlock and lock your doors unlock and lock your compartments, turn on your lights. It's even got a little doorbell, which is actually kind of cool. See this black cover over the valve stem? That right there is your air pressure monitoring system. You know, there are a few things that are as important when driving your RV as having proper air pressure in your tires. This is a lot of weight. The air pressure is gonna affect how it handles, how well it drives, and the safety of all passengers involved. Another cool thing is, Notice there are no seams in this slide here. This goes for all four slides on this coach. They actually mold it almost like a boat, but they mold it out to where you don't have any seams. What does that do for you? That means that you are less prone to have any type of leakage in your slides. We have a diesel fuel fill on both sides. You have a 150 gallon fuel tank. In this front compartment here, you have a refrigerator and freezer right here and it allows you let's say you're traveling and you see a place that has some shrimp on sale hey what the heck let's throw it in there and bring it home we come on down a little further now we have our large opening compartment here and it does have a power tray this power tray can handle a thousand pounds and it does go both ways which is actually very very nice Right here you have your outside TV. It does have a power door. You have a power awning right here and it's got a sound bar. You know you're sitting outside, it's noisy, you're tailgating. You need to be able to hear what's on the TV. That's what makes this sound bar so great. Up here you have your rail style awnings. Now these awnings not only cover the whole side of the coach, but they have something that's pretty unique. It's called the shake sensor. If these awnings go to shaking too much because of the wind, they're automatically going to pull themselves in. That is a great feature because you know, you never know when a little storm is going to pop up. You don't want to damage your awnings. Right over here, this right here is the compartment to get to the back of your refrigerator. Now, this probably won't happen, but they put it here in the event that maybe there's a small leak or something in the fridge. You can come back here and turn off the water and take it to your closest service center. Also with these awnings, you have an LED light strip that runs through the entire side. Also, I can't show you because it's daytime, but you do have blue running lights underneath the coach. You've also got right here, one of your side cameras. This is what allows you to get that 360 camera view so you can see everything that's around you. That's important when you're backing in and out of campsites. Right here, you have your steerable wheel and right here is your tag. Okay, the cool thing about this tag is it's a steerable tag. So if you're going under 20 miles an hour, it will actually move up to 15 degrees. That will allow you to not scrub your tires and it'll allow this back tire to last that much longer. So right here, your chassis batteries and your main chassis cutoff. And right here is the computer that tells this beautiful coach what to do. Okay, so the Allegro bus also comes with an airport right here for all of your air braking systems. They already pre-installed that. A 10 kW hitch and a seven way. On top of that, the beautiful thing is, since this has a side radiator in it, you have access to see the entire back of the engine here. You can get to it, you can get to whatever you need to, you can get to your filters. It's just a beautiful open area that allows you to maintain your coach properly. Up top is your backup camera. And of course you have LED and brake lights throughout. 
Right here is gonna be your 10 gallon DEF. It's on the same side most people fill on. And then right here is your power cord. It's on a power reel and I just press the button and it goes ahead and rolls it up on in there. Then I can close this and lock it up and I'm ready to go. This right here is nice because now you don't have a power cord reel in your storage. So now that gives you more store, storage area. Right here is your side radiator. Right there is the ventilation for your stackable washer dryer on the inside, which we'll get to. And as we come around right here, one of the questions I get the most is, well, what is this exhaust for? That exhaust is for your 450 Aqua Hot system. It runs on either diesel or electricity, so when it's running on diesel, it needs an exhaust. Now, remember I said attention to detail, okay? What I mean by that is, it's little things that over time, you'll learn to appreciate because of how well this bus is built. This particular coach not only has your tank levels over here on the right hand side up at the top, it's got your fresh water hose, your full coach water filter, your water pump, and your outside shower all where it's very easy to get to. But the attention to detail part is where they etch the name of everything right here into the metal. How many times have you owned a coach where those have been stickers? Well, stickers in a wet bay don't last very long. You never have to worry about any part of this right here disappearing, falling off, stickers, anything like that, because they're etched in there forever. Now, your front two slides are hydraulic. Your rear two slides are electric. What that does is that gives you the ability to use the power for your big slides, and you don't need as much power for these smaller slides in the back. It just allows them to come in and out and work great. Another great feature about the Allegro bus is notice how they continued the paint all the way through to the slide. Instead of having either a black slide or a white slide right here, they continued the paint. So even when your slides are out, your coach absolutely looks beautiful. So as we come around here, more storage. Now what Tiffin also does is they give you an induction cooktop. I've been selling coaches for a lot of years. And one thing RV manufacturers don't like to do, they don't like to give you anything extra, I guess, okay? Well, that's not true with Tiffin. See, they give you an induction cooktop and then they give you the pots and pans that go on that cooktop, which is something I've never seen any other manufacturer do. I love the sound of those doors when they shut. More storage right here. And an important part right here, this is where your main battery cutoff is for the house. So you can always cut it off by the door, but if you wanna make sure that absolutely everything is cut off, come right over here, hit those two switches, and call it a day. You've got no 12 volt in the system at all. Last but not least, on the outside, you've got your hydraulic pump here, and you also have your six sealed batteries. Now, the reason why they're sealed is it gives you better performance and there's no maintenance. That's what's beautiful about these batteries. You don't have to worry about them. You just maintain them, make sure they don't get run down to nothing, and just continue to treat them right, and they're gonna treat you right for years to come. One of the other cool things about this hydraulic system over here is you're gonna see a white switch right here. If you ever get in a bind and you need to release the pressure off of one of these hydraulic slides, you flick that white switch and it's gonna release the pressure and it'll allow you to get this slide in in the event of an emergency. Another great compartment is this front compartment here. It's the door that's gonna seal the hardest. It has all of your electronics in it. It also, right up here at the top, you can read it, it says, slides ready. It allows you to extend or retract your slides in the event that one of the insides doesn't properly work for whatever reason. You can come here, push the button, and it will either bring out all four slides or bring in all four slides. Here's your other diesel fuel fill right here. And as we walk around, the big beautiful front of the coach. Oh, I almost forgot to show you the generator. Okay. So one of the beautiful things about a 10KW generator is they always come out on a slide. So this right here is a 10KW Onan diesel generator. 
It's going to give you many, many hours of enjoyment when you don't have electricity available and you could utilize it almost anywhere. It will power up everything in this coach and a hair dryer all at the same time. All right, now that we're in the inside of this beautiful bus, let me point out a couple things to you. Number one, you have these two big monitors. This monitor is always a camera. It's gonna always be a camera. That's beautiful because now you always have a camera to look at. A lot of models will share the camera and the radio at the same time, and they'll switch back and forth. It can get kind of aggravating. You also have right up here your front TV. Now your front TV is plugged into an outlet that does not work when you're driving down the road. So understand that. And underneath this, you have this. This is called the signal repeater. You're gonna have this by every single TV in the coach. What it does is it allows you to have your direct TV, dish network, DVD player, Roku, whatever you want all the way in the back over there. And you, sh you just point the remote at this TV, signal's gonna go through here, make the change back there and it'll show up here on this TV. It is a wonderful thing and it allows you to not have to move your arms all over the place trying to figure out the best area to get the signal. So as we come over here, we have our digital dash, okay? Now this is new. This digital dash is a beautiful feature and it allows you so much more information than you had before. Of course, you have your tire pressure. You have all of your sensors for heat and cooling. You have the ability to see what your fuel mileage is. You have the ability to set multiple trips. I mean, it is just a very, very nice setup. You still do have the same Allison transmission on the side with the reverse neutral and drive. And you have a parking brake right over here on your left hand side that's easy to get to. Another interesting part is now we see where our slide buttons are on the inside, right here on the chairs. Now I'll tell you this, about half the people that I show Allegro buses to ask me, well why are these buttons on the chairs? Well, glad you asked. The reason why they're on the chairs is there are times, especially if you're a larger guy or a taller guy, that your chair will be back all the way to here. Now you start bringing in your slides and now the fascia on this slide does what? It starts ripping the seat. It rubs up against the seat. And over time it can actually ruin the seat. Well they put this on here because if you're sitting here and you're holding down the retract button and you start tearing the, you know, your seat's back too far, you're gonna know it immediately and you're gonna stop, move the seat up so you can get it in properly. That's the reason why they did that. It's really, really neat, really, really easy. Now up here in this cabinet, you have your awning controls. Remember all those awnings we saw outside, the window awnings, the patio awnings, the TV, lift door, everything, it's all right here, okay? Very, very easy to control, very easy to use. Everything has a zone. It's either in or out, very, very simple. You also have your satellite turn on here, your antenna cable button. You have the ability to control your inverter. And if you can get a picture of this, Judy and Bob Tiffin actually signed the inside of this door right here, okay? They do that to some of their coaches sometimes. They're walking down the line, they say, hey, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and sign one of our coaches. Well, this just happens to be one of them. Over on this side, storage. Oh, look. Another sign right there. So now you got two doors that are signed by Judy and Bob. You also have all of your touch-up paints here. Next feature up here, this right here is gonna be your wine guard connect. Now a lot of people ask me the question, what is a wine guard connect? How can you use it, okay? It's got a couple of ways to use it. And you know, I'm, I guess I'll go into it and explain to you how internet works in a coach, okay? This right here allows you to take an internet source. An internet source being the campground, you make your phone a hotspot, your Wi-Fi at your house, whatever signal you're getting Wi-Fi from, it accepts it in here whenever it's in range, and it creates your own network and broadcasts it throughout the coach. You know, let's say right now that I decided I wanted to make a hotspot out of my phone. Let's say I've set my phone down right here. 
there's a good possibility all the way at the back end of this bus that that signal is not going to be very strong. But I've, I connected my hotspot to this wine guard connect, now the signal is going to be broadcast throughout the entire bus. And that's also good because, you know, it just allows everybody to connect to one single area. Now, they also have the ability to purchase through WineGuard satellite internet. And they do have plans for that. You can read over those and check them out as well. You can do that as well. Most people I know just go off the hotspot. All right, here we are inside this beautiful bus. Now, I know you're always thinking about the same thing. Well, you know, the woods are boring in the bus. Either they're too light or they're too dark. Well, guess what? This bus actually has combo cabinets. It's got the linen and the sterling cabinets. You've got the gray main and you've got the white cabinets underneath it, okay? And that goes through the front here and then in the back bathroom, it's gonna be all white, okay? But that allows you, look how clean and beautiful this bus is. I mean, you've got two power recliners, okay? These recliners here are so comfortable, you may not even make it to the bed, okay? Over here, you have a full pullout bed with an air mattress that's covered by a mattress cover. So now when you inflate it, it's like a poor man's sleep number. I mean, you can inflate it to whatever firmness you want, lay down, I mean, Sometimes it's more comfortable than the bed in the back. Nah, I'm just joking, but it is very comfortable. You also have your retractable TV right here with your sound bar up top. Now, if you look at up here, okay, see how beautiful all this is? What do you not see up here in the ceiling? You see all the LED lights, you see the returns and the exhaust for all your air conditioner. You do not see an air conditioner coming through this ceiling. So many coaches, have the AC where it comes through the ceiling here. Well, Tiffin does it a little bit different. You have three air conditioners up here. They're all 15 thousandths. But right here is your return on this side. And right here is your exhaust on this side. They don't let the whole unit come through because it's loud. You're hearing the fan, the condenser, everything going on when that big old AC is coming through the roof. Well, now you don't hear that. And what that does is that gives you a much more comfortable, quiet experience. Nobody wants to be running around all day on vacation, come sit at home and listen to an air conditioner and have to turn the TV up to 100. We don't have to do that here. This is comfortable. This is more like home, okay? Now we get into this. Now this coach is an all electric coach. They have no propane in this coach at all. So your heating is done through your aqua hot. Your hot water is done through your aqua hot. Your heated floors are done through gold heat. I'll tell you something about gold heat real quick. When Tiffin lays down the gold heat, they put a small thin piece of wood in between the gold heat and the tile. The reason why they do that is, you know, let's say you have a, one of those big old massive coffee mugs and you drop it and you crack a tile. Let's say you want to change it. Now you guys going in here, he's cutting out the grout. All of a sudden he cuts into your heated floor. You don't want that. That's why they put that barrier of protection over there. So you don't have to worry about that. You know he can change the tile and you can be on your way. You also have the upgraded Wolf induction cooktop. Extremely good, can boil water in 30 seconds. Pretty impressive. You also have the large dishwasher right here. You have a pullout right here, extra counter space. Whoops, pull it, Clay. There you go. The large convection oven residential microwave. The gigantic double sink here, which is beautiful. All the appointments are so good. In 2019, they went with the window. Well, now they made the window even bigger. You have the booth here. I mean, and you know, I'm gonna tell you right now, I like Tiffin because they actually make a booth a guy like me can sit in and I actually have some room. I can be comfortable here. So many RVs I sit in and I'm right up on the table. That's not comfortable for anybody. You got your panels. No, notice the attention to detail. That's the key. It's all about the attention to detail. What they do, it's the small things. It's the right pictures in the right place. 
It's the way the cabinets look. It's the finish. It's a beautiful finish. Okay, next you have these pantries, right? Now, I have the ignition on over there because I was demoing and showing you the screens up top. Notice, I'm pulling on this. I cannot get it open, right? But if I push here, it's a release. Now, why is that so important? Well, these are big pantries. Both of these pantries are really big, okay? You can put bottles in here. You can put boxes. You can put heavy things in there. You could probably load this thing down with 500 pounds worth of stuff. Well, if it had a conventional clip on it, it would come flying open and you'd have stuff all over the floor. Well, you don't have to worry about that because when you're driving, this is locked and I'm telling you, you cannot get it open, okay? This also has the three door fridge, of course. It's a standard luxury fridge, ice and water in the door, but they went ahead and did the wood panels on the front of it, just to make it look a little better. You know, little touches here and there, make it feel more comfortable. All right, so in here, now I'm in your half bath, right? You have plenty of cabinet space in here, up top and on the bottom. You have a good size sink, big enough to wash your face in. You have a porcelain toilet here with the little sprayer on the side. It's a beautiful half bath and it'll probably be used quite a bit. Okay, so right here, this is your control panel. Now understand this, you have something similar to this, just a smaller version by the passenger seat. You have one right over here in the kitchen and you have one on each side of the bed. What this allows you to do is it allows you to turn on, on and off all the lights. It allows you to turn on the air conditioner. It allows you to see your battery. It allows you to turn the aqua hot on and off. See the level of all your tanks turn on your heated floors. See, look at all the different lights you can turn on and off. Right here, battery system. This allows you to set all this, the aqua hot, the heated floors. This allows you to do the rear slides. If you press the button, it'll still allow you to do the front slides if you want to. Right here is how you control all of your shades. So for many, many years, Tiffin did power shades, but they did them only in the living room, okay? They didn't do them in the cockpit. Well, now they work in the cockpit as well. You hold down the day masters or the night masters, it's taking them all down into the cockpit, okay? And right here is all of your Fantastic fans. Uh, if you know RVs, you know how important Fantastic fans are to keeping your coach cool, keeping it ventilated properly. You have three of those here. You have your bay locks right here and your entry lock. So whether you're laying in bed, or well, right here, you can lock all of your bay doors, you can lock your regular doors, you can lift the TV right here, and you can even lift the bed, because the bed comes up on a lift. It actually needs to be up for when you close in the slides, okay? So as we move along, this is a king bed, of course, and on this king bed, you have USB ports on each side of the bed, so you can plug it up. You have an outlet on each side of the bed, so if you have a CPAP or anything you can plug in right there and you're good to go you also have plenty of deep cabinets up here now i will warn you about these deep cabinets they are great for storage but a lot of times people forget what's up there you know i can't tell you how many times people are cross loading after they buy a new rv and they reach up in these cabinets and they're like oh i thought i had lost this so load that thing up just remember what's up there guys of course, you have your Tiffin ceiling fan up here, which has a low and a high setting. You have your media closet is what I call here. This is where you're gonna have your Dish or Direct box. This is where you're gonna have your DVD players, everything. It's gonna be right here, nice and easy to get to. You have extra drawers underneath. This particular version has the option of the TV with the fireplace underneath it. They also have an option where the TV is in the corner with no fireplace, but this is a retractable TV. You have more cabinets over here, more shelves over here, and again, back to this beautiful king bed. And you also have these solid wood doors. Now what's neat about it is you have one on both sides. You can completely shut off this king, king bedroom right here, and you just push in here and you pull, and it'll automatically lock when it's all the way closed. See, matter of fact, let's go. There it goes, see, now it's locked in place. Okay, one of the most important things I hear from customers is, hey, can I fit in the shower, okay? Because a lot of RVs, let's be honest, have very small showers. Well, not this one. This shower is plenty big enough for me to do every single thing I need to do. It's got a seat, it's got your handheld right here, 
It just has the ability to where you can sit down, relax in the shower. Then when we step out the shower, of course, notice all this is white now. We went from gray and white to gray in the bedroom and now we're all white. So now you have the two large medicine cabinets, one on each side. You have your towel holders, one on each side. You have the double sinks, his and her sinks, or her and her sinks, or his and his sinks. Either way, everybody has a sink here. You've got plenty of storage underneath, underneath your sinks. And if we come over here, you have your porcelain toilet, plenty of room, more towel bars, more racks, toilet paper holder, everything easy to get to. Now we're at the reason why you buy a 45 foot coach to begin with, the big walk-in closet. Okay, you have the ability to hang up all your clothes on a nice light, lighted rod up here, okay? You have storage galore. Right here is where your fuses are, but up above it you have all this storage. You have all these storage drawers. Right here you have your poppables and more drawers underneath. You have your washer dryer over here. You have a table you can fold your clothes on. You have all the specs on this motorhome. You got the model and serial number of everything in this motorhome. You have a safe down here in the corner. You have AC vents in here, and you even got shoe cubbies. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Clay Cruz with Dixie RV in Hammond, Louisiana. You can visit us at www.dixierv.com. You can call us at 888-DIXIE-RV. You can come by and visit us at 10241 Destination Drive in Hammond. So again, thank you so much for watching this video.